Hello everyone, in the today's video we will create a simple splash screen using the splash screen API and the best part about it is that we can display the splash screen as long as we are loading the data from the network so let's see how the splash screen looks as you can see it is a simple icon and it has a brown background so let's jump into Android Studio and see how we can build this before continuing, I need to tell you that my goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you find my videos helpful, please hit the subscribe button, it doesn't take more than 3 seconds. So, enough with this and let's get back to the video. Okay, so here the first thing we need to do is to go to build.creator.kts from the app module and we need to add the Android X course plus screen dependency and you need to add this in the libsversions.toml. The version is 1.0.1. And now we need to create a XML file that will be our splash screen. So open the rest package values. And here we need to create a sub team of the splash screen. So let's say values resource. And this will be splash. Now hit OK. And now we need to define our style. And now we need to say team compose splash but let's put a splash screen before and the parent team needs to be team splash screen and if you don't want to add a background to the icon like I did the white one you can't simply say splash screen without the icon background but I want to have a background to my icon so let's add it and now in order to set the screen background we need to say window splash and as you can see, we have multiple things here, but we need to set the screen background. And here I will paste the color. Now let's add the icon because I haven't added it yet. So let's say vector asset and click on next, finish. And now let's add it in the project. So let's say item window animated icon. And we need to pass the drawable coffee. And now we can also set the icon background. So let's say item, window, icon, background color, and this will be white. And now in order to get back to the application team, we need to set up post splash screen team. So let's say post splash screen team and pass the style team compose splash which is my application name okay and if you want to have a different splash screen when your application is in dart team you can create a new splash file and you can select night mode and select night and hit ok and now let's copy paste this in the night splash and let's say that we want to change the background color of the icon so let's say we want to have it the same or let's make it black okay and we need to add the team here in the manifest by replacing the previous team that is the application team with the team splash screen compose splash and don't forget to replace it here too so let's remove this and paste it now we need to do one more thing to display the splash screen so we need to say install splash screen and if we hit run it should display the splash screen so wait a second okay so as you can see the image is quite bigger than the circle so we need to scale this down let's go in the drawable and in the xml file and we need to say group and put this path inside so let's put this aside now we need to get the center of this xml file so we need to divide the viewport width and height by two so let's say pivot x is 512 and pivot y is 212 uh, 512 and we need to scale this so scale y 0 0.6 and scale x 0 0.6 you can play the around with these values for your icon and let's rerun the application to see if everything is right and as you can see the icon fits the circle and let's also change the team so dark team and let's rerun the app and as you can see the icon background was changed by the team and this compose splash action bar shows only on the emulator i know i think it's a bug 
or if you have some ideas how to get rid of it you can let them in the comments so now let's see how we can delay the splash screen to disappear when we are loading some data so let's say coffee view model and let's open the uh, let's inherit from the view model and let's open the curly brackets now and we will have a variable called is loading and let's put an underline and make this private because we are making this a mutable mutable state flow of true and we need to have an is loading and is equal to is loading as state flow and now let's say init and now let's use the view model scope to launch a coroutine and now let's simply delay this with four seconds and set is loading to false now let's get the view model in the main activity so let's simply say private ball view model by view models and let's pass the coffee view model and open parentheses now we can use the apply block in order to call the set keep on screen condition and inside we will pass the view model is loading value and as long as the is loading is true the splash screen will appear so let's see if it stays up for five, four seconds yeah it stays for four seconds and then it will disappear and that's it and as you can see it's very easy to display a splash screen using this api and if you find this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this see you in the next video